Okay, here we have a TRS-80 model 16B computer. Just turn him on. Insert diskette, which I'll just do. Welcome to LS-DOS. The date is February 23rd. Damn it. 3K doesn't work. So I'm going to show you in this video how to fix a Model 16B keyboard to replace the foams which make the keys work. Okay, so we have the TRS-80 model 16B keyboard apart. Once it's um, been removed from the enclosure, we've got the keyboard there, and we can see all the uh, all the aluminium pads here, which are needed to make contact with the circuit board, so that the keyboard works. The foam pads are under here, and I'm going to show you how we remove these, uh, replace the foam pad, and put it back together on a couple of keys. I used a kit from um, MS Tech, E M E S S T E C, in uh, Germany, which is just uh, replacement pads here. So I'll quickly show you how they're done. Uh, what I have on hand is some methylated spirits, some cotton tips, uh, that green stuff is what's left of the old pads that come out and these are the the discs that are left over once you once you pull them off the the new um, foams. So first thing we need to do is get a couple of these discs and save them. So we'll just peel one off there another one here they peel off really easily because uh, the foam has degraded to such an extent so the next thing we want to do is clean out um, all that extra foam there the way I do it is to just carefully dig it out like so Now what's left in there is a plastic disc that the that the foam pad sticks to. Some people, depending on um, which method you use to uh, to replace the pads, remove the plastic disc. But I prefer to leave it in there. Uh, it's very fiddly to take out. So get some metho on a cotton tip and clean these out so that all the leftover um, old foam pad is gone. There it is, it's stuck to the end of that thing, the Q-tip. And we get another clean one to dry out the pad so that there's no leftover. So there it's cleaned out, the old pads are gone, you can check that the key is not binding or anything, works fine. So the next one is we have to reuse these two little um, aluminium discs here, so I'll show you how I clean them up. I just use a screwdriver softly on them to scrape the foam off, the old foam off. So there they are. Get the old bits of foam, put it there. Getting our uh, 
methylated soaked q-tip again just clean off the last of the foam that's on there we don't want to damage this thing so be really um, careful with it and also note which side is the top and which is the bottom I don't know if it matters or not but I just make sure that I do the top and the bottom so they look pretty clean now yeah they look good so I just get a tissue give them a quick dab to make sure that there's no that they're not wet so they're now dry we take two of our uh, pads out of here two pads and all we were going to do is peel the the backing off both sides so we'll just take it off one stick it onto aluminium pad and we're done so we'll do that with the other one as well there you go there it is okay we'll stick that to the aluminium contact there you have it so all we have to do now is put them back in the keyboard into the, the places we removed them from which is easy enough again just peel the backing off this side and I tend to push the key up from the bottom so that it's sitting proud and just put that right in the center there give a little press same with the other one press the key up put it in like that check that the key works well what we're looking for is to when you press a key that it sits about one or two millimeters proud of that as they both do so there you have it that's the MS Tech uh, kit there for fixing uh, these types of keyboards I'm going to reassemble this keyboard and uh, try it out on the TRS-80 see if it's all good Obviously I've got to do the rest of the keys first, will take quite some time, but we'll, we should have at the end of it a fully functional keyboard. Okay, so we're going to try out the nicely restored keyboard. I've replaced all pads in all the keys, uh, put the keyboard back together, We've got it connected to our Model 16B. So. Let's give it a shot. Loading our DOS disk. Okay, welcome to LS DOS. Uh, the date today is the um, February the 23rd ah the three key back working um, and the time is 13.45 so there you have it our three key which was not working before is working perfectly and in fact, 
every other key on the keyboard works exactly as it should. So there you have it. That's uh, MS Tech's um, uh, foam keypad conversion uh, restoration kit. You can order it from Germany. It's about um, 25 euros to buy it. Uh, it takes a couple of hours to to get your um, keyboard taken apart, cleaned, and all the pads replaced. But you'll have a uh, a great keyboard that will not give you problems again for uh, many years or even decades. If you've got any questions, by all means send me an email and thanks for watching.